What are we making? We're making a little Hello Fresh for lunch. We're doing the spaghetti with Brussels sprouts, lemon, and parm. Starving. Oh, oh not the baby. <laughs> so this is what we're making, the spaghetti with Brussels sprouts, lemon, and parm. All the ingredients are on the side. It's gonna do a little 10 minute prep. The chive spilled. Oh no. 30 minute cook time. And as always, all the ingredients on the back and then anything you might need from your kitchen is on the busted outside over here. So let's see what we got in the bag. As always, this is a four person meal, but when we would order, we would get the two people meal. A little butter. Oops, mm. Garlic herb. Nice. Oh, yum. Some breadcrumbs. A little panko. A little brussy. Cream cheese. Parmesan roux. Mm. Yeah. Parmesan cheese and a and lemon. A lemon. And before we get into the cooking, if you guys want to try HelloFresh for yourself, all you have to do is go to HelloFresh.com and use my code NicoleG14 to get 14 free meals, including free shipping. Bring a large pot of water to a boil. Turn that on. Trim and half Brussels sprouts lengthwise, lay flat, and thinly slice crosswise into shreds. Right, cut that butt oh my off. god. Gotta have go it. Heavy crosswise. Okay. Oh. <laughs> there are a ton of reasons why I love HelloFresh, but I feel like the main one is that it saves time and it really cuts the stress out of meal planning and prepping so that you can just enjoy cooking and get dinner on the table in just like 30 minutes. They even have 20 minute meals with their quick and easy options. It's also really, really delicious. I have not met a meal that I do not love they have lots of healthy options like low-cal carb smart vegetarian and pescatarian options hellofresh is also really sustainable they have pre-portioned ingredients meaning that there's less prep for you and less wasted food i also love the flexibility of it you can add extra things in if you want like extra proteins or any compliments their desserts are also really good and hellofresh is committed to giving back they are committed to making fresh delicious food available now more than ever and has taken extra steps to keep its employees and customers safe. If you've not tried HelloFresh, I highly recommend it. It is just so easy to cook yourself a delicious meal. And like I said, I have not met a meal that I don't like. And if you ever have a chance to get the spaghetti, I'm just gonna tell you now, you better jump on it. Spaghetti's going in. Spaghetti's going in. Spaghetti's going in. Noodles in. Baby. Two tablespoons. Oh, oh. <laughs> think that's more than two? <laughs> Probably, it's got paper on the bottom. <laughs> I think that's on the money. Let us know in the comments. Is that less, more or less than two <laughs> tablespoons of butter? <laughs> Toasting it for two or three minutes. Yeah, and then we're gonna put in some half the chives with this. Mm -hmm. uh, half chives. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Smells good. And it says turn off the heat and transfer in a small bowl and wipe out the pan. When they said a bowl, Beep said, let me get a small bowl. You want something bigger? <laughs> what the heck? It would have made it a little easier, but hey. That, that's perfect. Let's go small bowl. That's perfect. Small bowl. Wiping out the pan? Wiping out the pan. All right, talk to me. Oh, boy. Put some oil in the pan. <laughs> and then add the Brussels sprouts with salt and pepper, cooking until bright green and slightly soft for 46 minutes. 46 minutes? Four to six. We're saving two cups of pasta water. One. Awesome. <laughs> and then hot. Just like a freaking Pasta check. 
And then we're adding the cheese roux and, and one and a half cups <laughs> of the water, pasta water. Whisk that together. Cook and whisking until slightly thickened for two to three minutes. And then when that's slightly thickened, we're gonna whisk in the cream cheese until melted and combined. We're almost done. We're gonna add in our spaghetti. Into gonna, the big pot? Uh-huh. Add in our spaghetti. Our Brussels sprouts are going in next. We're adding our roasted garlic herb butter. This says makes everything taste better. That's going right in there. I think that's probably gonna make it taste good. <laughs> Parm. Parmesan. Oh man. A big squeeze of lemon juice. Last but not least, some little chives. Now we're mixing. The butter and everything is melted and the pasta is coated. What? <laughs> that smells good. Yeah. Now we're going to add our breadcrumbs. It says you can add chili flakes too if you want. And voila! Bada boom, bada bing! It looks good. Oh, real good. Oh, the noodles look nice. Get a little bit of crunchy on there. What is that? Mmm. That is good. I don't know, I'm gonna get in here some more. Mmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's a good one. That is a good one. <laughs> oh, the noodle is nice. The sauce is so creamy. I wouldn't think to put Brussels sprouts in pasta, but the way... I'm gonna get a little more. <laughs> but the way that they had you cut them up... Fire. Mixed right in there, good. Mmm. 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 Hello Fresh does it again. Does it again. As always, all the information will be listed in the bottom bar. And we gotta go, because we gotta eat this pasta. Good morning! I'm coming to you from a new camera. Remember I was talking about in the last vlog, like trying to see if the camera was available? Well, I ordered it that day. So this is the Sony ZV-E 10, which is basically the same as the Sony ZV-1, which I talked about, except this one has interchangeable lenses, which I like. The color is more not so blown out as the other ones were, so I'm excited. Today is Friday, my dudes. I have to film just a reel that is due, so I'm gonna do that. Probably should get started on it a little early. I got started, I had to film one yesterday. I had two reels that were due. And I got started on the other one yesterday, like so late in the day and I was so tired <laughs> filming it. Um, I haven't talked about what is going on in our, this room out here was absolutely nothing. Basically it's like where the cats laid and it was like storage and we just never really did anything with the room. We always wanted to make it like a game room, like a man, not a man cave because I feel like that's sexist because I'm gonna be out there too. Um, but it is gonna be like, there's, we're having a bar built out there, pool table, little seating area, and a little like shuffle table and like some little arcade games. That's what's happening out there finally after five years of living in this house because our guy that did our bathroom, we were like, hey, can you build us a bar? He was like, I absolutely can build you a bar. He can literally do anything. So I'm gonna show you what the room currently looks like. When I say it's the cat room, it's because they usually always lay in here. So before he comes every day, they try to get in as much time as they can in here. Right, baby bud? Right, baby bean? This is the current process that we have. This is obviously where the bar is going to be. This is the front. And it's going to be a concrete bar that water falls over. So it's gonna be pretty cool. And then there's gonna be like a huge concrete piece in the middle where there's gonna be a TV mounted and then shelving all in the back. And then those two gaps are gonna be like where little fridges are. Here will be a pool table. This light will not live here anymore. This light just came with the house. It's from Restoration Hardware if anybody would like to purchase this. 
let me know because it is for sale um but it just takes up so much room because this used to be like their formal dining area but we're not doing that okay we're not doing that so there was a table here so i feel like it was a lot more i don't know it like went with the room better but it's so long like it's such a big light it takes up so much room so we're having a light um a flush mount so there'll be a lot more space i'm super excited for this room to come together i'm, I'm really excited to see how he's going to do this concrete waterfall because i'm like how you gonna how you gonna get the concrete and not get all over the place but we shall see but i just think it's funny that the cats come in here every day oh boy oh boy oh oh he just wants to say hello hi so that's what's happening in this room pretty excited he said probably about three weeks or so to get all that like built in and he's gonna do like some sort of built-in situation over here this room won't be this color anymore i think we're just gonna paint it white again um because i'm over this color it doesn't even look gray to me anymore it just looks blue let me get out of here because the floor is dusty so i'm gonna head to the back film my reel do what i gotta do and then uh i will see you guys a little bit later also got my nails done a little something simple i showed them on instagram but i figured i'd show you guys didn't vlog it because there is just too much, too much going on in the nail salon. I just, so, okay. It's, it feels so weird for me to like say anything because we haven't said anything and I haven't said anything in the vlogs or anything. But after I'm done <laughs> filming my reel, I want to take um, a bump shot because I am pregnant. I'm freaking pregnant. <laughs> it feels so strange, like I said, because... You know, I haven't announced it yet, so it feels weird to even say it to the vlog, but I'm like, the announcement picture will be up before this vlog goes live. So like, I can I can talk about it in the vlog, but it still feels like, it still feels really weird. <laughs> so I, I wanna do like a full video with Jay talking about it, but um, we're gonna do, I wanna do a bump announcement picture today. So I am currently 17 weeks pregnant and yeah. It's crazy. It honestly feels so bizarre to say it to the camera, but that's what I'm gonna do afterwards. So I gotta go, gotta get this film so we can take this picture and put it on the internet and let the world, and let the world know. Eek. It's the morning, but it's definitely the afternoon. I can't see the screen with these glasses on. We are off to Floor & Decor, the tile store again. Um, we're gonna pick out some tile for our bar we also need to get a faucet and like things like that for the bathroom but is this expensive or is it just us <laughs> what we got going over here these are shower it doesn't matter right should we do these big ones been there <laughs> um, so we just left floor and decor. We think we found a tile, right? What do you, what do we, are we gonna do that one? We're gonna see what our tile do things. Um, Cause it's like a huge piece of tile. Every time we saw it somewhere, we were like, mm, mm, that's it. That's, that's it. So we're gonna see what he thinks about this big ass piece of tile. And then we went to Whole Foods to get some lunch. Phoebe's got some Indian food. I got some orange chicken and rice and then I got a little pumpkin loaf. I don't know. Ooh. I don't know why Beebs thinks he's gonna get any of this. Ooh. We're gonna go home and eat because we're starving. And it was free ninety nine. Uh, it was free. <laughs> you know, like I don't know if you guys have ever been to um, Whole Foods, but they have the hot bar. So when you go and you check out, you put it on the little scale. We were in self checkout, and the scale wasn't working. And the lady was just like, "Just take it." And we were like, "Man, we have two. She's like, "Please, if you can't weigh one, you can't weigh the other." Two hours later. Hi. So a little update on the game room area situation. They ripped out the, what is that called? Um, what is that called? It's not crown molding. Wow, I'm, I'm, I'm pregnant, you guys. I can't remember anything. Anyways, the baseboard, right? Is that a baseboard? I don't know, perhaps. They ripped it out because they put the cabinets in today back here. We picked huge tile, like 24 by 48, so we're gonna kind of make this look like it's one slab. There was an electrician here today to put in that new little guy right there. The cats are loving it. They think that all these boxes are for them. And Biebs is home. What? I was vlogging. Well, I am vlogging. 
He went to the store to get some mac and cheese because we're gonna have some barbecue chicken, broccoli, and mac and cheese. What's going on in there? The cabinets are in. Um, so today I've already been to the dentist uh, and I found out that I'm probably gonna have to have some kind of gum surgery to remove cement that's underneath my teeth. So be cautious if you ever get veneers, unexpected shit pops up. Um, but obviously we won't be doing that, any of that until after baby. And then Jay just went to the store. He's gonna make me a little Caesar salad. I've been eating Caesar salads like every single day. It's just what I've been like craving. I haven't had any like weird cravings or anything like that. I do think that I felt baby move. Cause I'm currently um, 18 weeks and a day today. Wednesday, my dudes, but it's hard to tell, you know? Like, I'm like, wait, what was that? What was that weird feeling? Is that a fish? What is that? Like, it's, it's strange. Um, but I felt it, I felt it a couple of times. So that's cool. <laughs> um, what else is going on today? Nothing really. I mean, I just gotta run to Target and get some like house stuff. There's nothing happening in the big room currently. I need to start buying stuff for that room out there. And I really need to start moving stuff from the makeup room. I don't know if I've told you guys the makeup room is going to be baby room. And there is so much in that back room. Okay. Um, so filming room is going to now be in the back back, which I'm having like a little vanity and all that built in. Carpet needs to come out. Hardwood floors are going in because that carpet is just trashed from five years of halloween makeup tutorials because when i film makeup halloween tutorials i'm just like a mad woman like i don't even care like i will <laughs> i will put anything anywhere like for the video so the carpet has taken a bit of a beating and the original reason that i got carpet back there in the first place is because um sound it was just like insulated better but then i was like i can just get a mic and it'll sound fine and i realized that after the fact so we're just gonna do these same floors in the back don't worry i'm gonna do like a big carpet and everything i came out here to actually get my ipad because i'm gonna do like a little mood board for how we want baby's room to look i go back and forth but like i go back and forth but like la, 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 la. <laughs> i can't talk i go back and forth between like two themes but i'm like heavily leaning towards one which i will share with you once i like lock down my decision it's just crazy that like i feel like open about it I'm so cautious. A lot of people, I don't think that a lot of people knew that I, I've had miscarriages because when I posted that I was pregnant on Instagram a few days ago, if you guys missed it, here's the bump shot. Don't be expecting to see the bump 24 seven because your girl's still wearing big tees and you can't really tell when I, when I have like a t-shirt on. People are like, you better show the bump in every video. I'm like, girl, that's not me. Okay, that's, that's not me. And like I said, I was super nervous when I posted the picture I like, posted it and through my phone, I felt like I was sending some risky text message. And then I was like, oh, okay, what do we look? We look uh. um, but I mean, obviously you guys were nothing but sweet and kind and very excited for us. But yeah, we touched on all that in the pregnancy video. So if you want to watch that and hear the story and all that jazz, I will link it in the bottom bar for you guys. Right now I'm just waiting for Jay to get home. He went to go get a pub sub. A public sub if you're not from the south <laughs> they are the best but i can't eat turkey sandwiches and that's all that i want y'all that is all that i want if you don't know pregnant women can't have like lunch meat and shit like that because the nitrates and that's all i think about is a turkey sandwich <sighs> but i'm gonna enjoy my feather salad i was trying to go to home goods with my mom but i don't think she's gonna make it over here today so we shall she we we shall See. All right, I'm gonna see you guys later. Good morning. Just, this is the first time I'm catching a glimpse of myself since I've woken up. Good morning, hair. Um, so it's Friday, it's a rainy day. I really haven't gotten anything done this week because we've just been having construction going on. It's impossible to film. I'll be back there and then all of a sudden it's like <laughs> like just super, super loud. So I'm like, yeah, I'm not, I can't, I can't go back there until it's done. And it's hard for me to film in general if there's just like random people in the house. I, I can't do it. You girls out of breath. Do you guys have crazy ass dreams while being pregnant? Like, I don't know what's going on. I feel like I haven't dreamt like this since like I was like a kid. I don't even know. 
I don't even know. I can't even re- I can't even remember any of them. Like when I wake up, they're like poof gone. But I know wh- while I'm dreaming, I'll wake up and I'll be like, what the hell? Because I get up and go pee like six times in the middle of the night. So every time I get up, I'm like, what? What was that? And then I go back into some like some crazy ass dream. So I've had a smoothie this morning, and now I'm about to start my water intake. And I take a baby vitamin. <laughs> I have no. I can't get anything out. I take a baby aspirin every single day. So I take it in the morning. Um, and then I take my prenatals at night. I currently take these like gummy ones because they were the only ones that I could get down and like stomach. I could probably take some regular ones now, even though I tried to take Tylenol the other day when I had like this really bad headache. And I was like, Bleh. so I don't know. Maybe I'll stick with my gummies. Feeling good. Just hungry and tired. <laughs> Getting lots of um, how do I say this nicely? Getting lots of advice. <laughs> I opened the DM the other day and it was like, look, I don't have any kids, but I stopped reading. I said, I don't give a damn. <laughs> yeah, I just think it's funny. I don't find it like offensive or anything like that. I just think like, I don't know. Everybody wants you to know what they know, I guess. I don't know. I'm just not that person. <laughs> so I don't really know what's going on today. I'll give you guys a little update on the room. And I'm not gonna start working on the nursery until after Halloween videos, which I don't know how many I'll get up this year because I don't really have like a solid plan. I really haven't been thinking about Halloween videos, but everybody else has been reminding me. Everyone's like, can't wait to see the Halloween videos with the bump. I'm like, well, I mean, he's not gonna be in the video, y'all. He's just gonna be below the screen. He's gonna be like down here. I'm not gonna decorate the bump. <laughs> I have like two solid ideas that I'm working with right now. And that, that's about it. But usually that's how I am. I usually only have like one like really good one that I know I wanted to do like last year it was Genie, and then I just kind of go with the flow and just do shit day of. I've got like two solid looks that I think will be really cute. Cool. Yeah. Okay, it is looking reckless in here. I should probably have some shoes on, but I don't. Eek, what is this? There's a little fish. Looking like she's about to commit a crime. <laughs> Hopefully today we're gonna get some cement on the actual bar. We moved some lighting around, added some stuff back there. That's gonna all be concrete. I'm sorry, I'm so out of breath. <laughs> These were like can lights like those. They got patched and then moved so they'd be like centered over the bar and not block the TV. So we're just gonna get like some pendant lights to hang here. He put all the, what is this called? What is this what is this called the frame framework <laughs> you put all that in and then this will all be concrete as well and then there'll be shelves here this is the back of the bar again all this will be covered in cement which it kind of looks like it is but this is just like backer board and then it'll be waterfalled onto here it still looks pretty much the same since you guys saw it it's just a lot more messy in here what is this so it is about 10 just having a little breakfast this is a little I'm so out of breath <laughs> um what is this a protein waffle protein blueberry waffle with nutella and bananas so i need to bite hold up mm. Mm. how about i eat this and come back <laughs> a few moments later all right i have ate my bagel Girl, what are you talking about? I ate my waffle. So, I was also talking about on stories um, how the makeup room is turning into a nursery, but I don't want anyone to get like under the impression that like I'm in a rush to do anything because I mean, like I said on my stories last night, let's be honest, the baby will be in our room for a hot ass minute. A lot of people are agreeing with me on my stories, like in the DMs saying that their kids are six months still sleeping in their room. Some of their kids are a year old still sleeping in their room. So I think it just all depends on what you want to do. So I'm in no rush to get the baby's room done before he gets here. Like, I don't know if we've met, but I don't do anything 
for views. I don't do things just to create content. Like I'm not getting married to create content. I'm not having a baby to create content and I'm not doing like home renovations to create content. Like I just share whatever the hell's going on <laughs> in my life at that current time. So yes, I will be sharing baby's room with you guys once we get like all that situated. The makeup room that I currently film in is actually the smallest room in the house. These, this is a, I think this house was built in like the 70s or the 80s, but the bedrooms in the house are pretty large. Um, so that would be the smallest room that we could put him in. The other two rooms just seem, and that just seems, the makeup room just seems big for his room, but it's gonna be like his room, playroom situation, which you guys will see. Um, but the other two rooms just seem ridiculously big to put him in. I'm more, not in a rush, I just want to get the makeup room set up and I wanna start clearing out um, this back bedroom. I can't, I just, I can't get over like how out of breath I am when I talk. The baby is moving and grooving a lot. I don't think that I've talked to you guys, I didn't talk to you guys when I went to go get my 20 week anatomy scan. So I'm sorry if this vlog is just a lot of me sitting and chit chatting it's because i i haven't gone anywhere guys since we've been doing work on the house we've just been here but the reason that i didn't talk to you guys on tuesday for my anatomy scan was because i was upset <laughs> originally the place that i go to women's care they said that you could bring your partner for your 20 week anatomy scan but i didn't go there for it, I went to a fetal medicine, which is like an extension of them. It's where they send women that are like 35 and older, or I, I guess it's not like a regular OB office. So I called, so because Women's Care said that he could come, I was like, okay, cool, he could come to the 20 week scan. So I called them in the morning of, and they were like, we're sorry, we're still not allowing visitors, you have to come by yourself. And like, that's just a bummer that you have to go alone um without your partner because like he's excited too like he wants to see the baby he wants to hear his heartbeat um so i was pretty upset <laughs> i cried that morning um I, i'm pretty sure it's just the hormones too because like i cry at the most random things like i'm i'm not like a crier and i'll be watching a movie and like one little sad part will happen i'm like oh my god and i'm like what what the wrong with you i was pretty upset that morning when i left so i was just not in the mood to vlog and then when i got there it was packed okay the waiting room was like small the place was big but the waiting room was small and i think there was like seven women in there my appointment was 11 30 and i didn't go back <laughs> to get my ultrasound until one o'clock i was having anxiety because you know the 20 week um the scan that they do there is more in depth they look for any issues, cleft lips, if his heart is pumping right, like his brain, his spinal cord, like all kinds of stuff. So I was already having a little bit anxiety to begin with because you're going in blind, you don't know what's happening. So sitting there for an hour and a half was definitely like intensifying it. Had it been an appointment for anything else in the world, guaranteed i would have got up and left is this really happening and you could tell that like ev everybody was behind because like the other women that were in there were like huffing and puffing well it's literally one o'clock on the dot and the lady comes out she's like nicole and i'm like okay and i come back and then as soon as i you like lay down on the table and you like see baby on the screen like all my anxiety went away um i think the anatomy scan was like 30 35 minutes or something like that and at first she was quiet and i was like we're not doing that and i'm usually not the type of person that will talk i'm a very quiet person in those situations if you don't ask me something i'm not gonna talk but that day i was like it's just asking some questions so she's like all right i'm just taking some measurements of his spine and i'd be like does everything look good she's like everything looks great and then she's like all right we're gonna take a little measurement of his brain i'm like everything look good <laughs> she's like everything's looking great so then she started to like talk more and when she was like doing things she was telling me like what she's doing she's like all right we're measuring his aorta valve and it looks great blood is flowing to and from she's like now we're gonna measure your umbilical cord she's like everything looks great so ever because i feel like because i started asking she started to become more vocal and was just like telling me more and more about what was going on so that was like reassuring and then i got to like really enjoy it so she did let me film um a little bit of it like right at the end <laughs> he was not in the best position um for the ultrasound he was turned his head was up and he was like turned on his side 
Um, so at the end, I think he was just over her, like trying to move him around because she would like push with the little wand thing to try to get different angles. So she was like pushing him around. And I think he was just so over it, but you do get to hear his heartbeat and you do get to see him for a second. But at the end, he would like, like mush straight up to my belly button. And if you've ever heard ultrasound, you know, like when they go over your belly button, it's just like the black hole. You can't really see anything. And we did see confirmation that it is in fact a boy. And then after I had the ultrasound, she was like, all right, just give me a second and the doctor will come in and talk to you. So like five, 10 minutes go by and the doctor comes in and she's like so apologetic for the hour and a half wait. And I'm like, yeah, not a big deal. Meanwhile, I was like fuming out in the waiting room. But by then I was just like, yeah, I was in a great mood. And she was like, everything looks perfect. She's like all his structural, I don't know what she says. She says something structural. She's like, everything structurally is looking as it should. She's like, baby's weighing in at about 12 ounces. Um, she was like, all your genetic screenings have come back negative. She was like, so I don't recommend that you would need an amniotic scan because that was kind of like the point to go. Like if anything was wrong, they were gonna do that test where they like take the amniotic fluid from your belly button, which is a little bit invasive. And I was like, like dreading like I was like god I do not want that and she was like but everything looks great genetic testing has all come back negative I told you guys I had a bunch of those tests done those are optional and they're blood tests you don't have to get them but again I just wanted to know and then that scan went as good as I think it possibly could she said everything looked and she said do you have any questions for me I said no and she said all right you good to go and I said <laughs> I get like little bursts of energy here and there but like right now you see like I just ate that I just ate that waffle I was gonna say bagel, bagel again and I'm like falling asleep like wake up my eyes look so tired yeah and I feel like I'm having a hot flash oh do you know something else that's weird that's happening my belly button <laughs> is like starting to push out and it's the strangest feeling because I have the inniest of any belly buttons. Um, I remember like when I was like three months and like it, my stomach started to push out a little bit. I could like, I remember I was like looking in the mirror and I was like, I could see the back of my belly button. I'm like, what the hell is that? And now it's like the top part is like <laughs> starting to come out and Jeremy didn't even know that belly buttons poked out. I'm like, have you never seen a pregnant woman, sir? He was like, I don't think I've paid attention to their belly buttons. It's just such a weird feeling. I'm sure it's gonna be the least weird thing that's happening, but currently right now, right now, it is the weirdest thing that's happening. Um, I hope you enjoyed this ramble. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Our battery is on 2%, so I'm gonna put you guys on the charger. I don't know if I'll see you again today because I'm not doing anything. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to put makeup on and I'm gonna try to take some Instagram pictures. We'll see how well that goes. Okay, here is the last update of this vlog. Hopefully, the next time you guys see this, it will be done. But the sealant is going on soon. Shelves are being installed. We got the TV and all that. Jay's picking up some lights today. And the handles are on back there. I don't want to walk on the floor because I don't have shoes on. And it's a little uh, dirty. I kicked that thing the other day and it hurt like a bitch. <laughs> so... This is the final update. It's almost done. It's almost done. Remember, this light will not live here. She's going to the loo. <laughs>